What's up, guys? Did a bunch of, a bunch of insulation work today in the old truck. Um, first off, you can see I filled the side of the box, basically, except for where this little speaker is hidden back in here. I tried to keep him from getting completely covered. He did get a little on him. I had to wipe it off, but it still works fine. Um, I know it isn't pretty, but I don't care because this is my tank, my beast truck. It's just loud. So I insulated the whole port side, back side of this box. The spray foam. Super solid. And I completely sealed it all the way to the other end on the back. And underneath, I did the same thing underneath. And you can see that I got some, uh, some, uh, what do you call it, polyfill. I got a whole bunch of polyfill today. And that's just kind of to stop the spray foam from coming out from under the front of the box. This here I'm going to break off when it gets dry. I'll just grab a hold of it and rip it out of there and I'll cut it even, you know, and pull it out of here by the window and stuff. Basically it was to get the side of the 18 port uh, totally, you know, insulated on the side and on the bottom. And I did the same thing on both sides and the bottom. So it's absolutely 100% insulated. Then, next step of insulating today... Is I told you guys I put a whole bunch of spray foam up in here. Well, I did do that, but it's not completely filled. It just went in funny spots and crevices because I pulled my light out. It actually disintegrated my light. The base did. It was bouncing so much that the light fell apart in there and quit working. So I took the guts out and threw it away. But basically, I pulled that plug out and reached up in there and filled the entire ceiling with polyfill everywhere where there wasn't spray foam. So now it's absolutely dead sound, no matter where you're at in the ceiling. It still shakes the front of the roof up here pretty violently when I got it turned up, which if I push up real hard on this, it stops. So I could put a pedestal here, you know, if I put more subs in or whatever to stop that. But basically I got it all insulated. Oh yeah, and the front doors, probably filled those too, the whole thing. Both front doors, completely polyfilled. Oh, you can see it poking out right there. So, no sound gets out of here now. It just beats you up. It's much better. Much, much more insulated. So I'll get doing some demo videos in a couple of days. I'm happy with the 118 and the 210, guys. Uh, I tried unhooking my 210s the other day. Just listen to the 18. And it just doesn't have near the high base as it does with the 10s. So I'm just going to get a bigger amp. For my 18, move my 1500 watt amp back up to the 10s, and be happy with it. It'll be good enough for me. I'll get up over 150 decibels with 118 and two little 10s running in mid base, and that's pretty impressive to me. So once I get to that point and I can turn my nose up and say, "Hey, see, I did it," <laughs> and that's all I need to do. So 150 is my goal. If I can get 150 with three. I'll be good, or close to it, and I think I'm already close to it, so I'll let you guys know what's happening when I get a little closer to the next level. But yeah, super hyper insulation was the word of the day today. I mean, this thing is crazy insulated. I just took a ride with my buddy, and it bangs big time. So, peace out.